Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a three-dimensional rotate interaction for the card with color selection. Let's get started. I've already imported my design from Figma. I will use the card front, card back, and check boxes. First off, to make the color interactive, I will replace the image of the card background to shape. I will use a rectangle from the toolbar with a size of 278 by 442 and a radius of 24 pixel. And I will rename this to card front background and change the color to blue using the color picker. I will move this right before the content and delete the original background image. Then I'll duplicate the shape and place it under the card back content and rename it to the card back background and hide the background image. Now, let's start adding the interaction. First, I will move both card front and card back's anchors to center. Next, I will add a trigger thing assigning to the card front which is similar to swiping and set the direction left to right. Then I will add a response 3D rotate assigning to card front. This means when I fling left to right, the card front will rotate. I will set the amount of the rotation to 180 degrees with the direction of left to right and the duration for one second. To rotate the card back, I will duplicate the 3D rotate and reassign it to the card back. But you can't see the card back since the card front is above the card back layer. So, we are going to add the opacity response to the card front setting it to zero and make it disappear smooth and instant by setting the duration to zero with a delay of 0 0.5 seconds. But the card back is flipped. To flip in the opposite direction from the start, I added the start trigger. Then I added 3D rotate to card back in right to left direction in 180 degrees with zero duration. Now the card back looks straight. To flip back from left to, left to right, I will just duplicate this trigger and reassign it to card back. Also, for 3D rotate, I will change the front to back and back to front and changing the opacity to 100. Now, I can also flip back. Again, I'll just copy and paste both links and hold the command key to select both links to change the direction right to left. Also, I will grab all the 3D rotates and change the direction right to left. Now, I can fling from both sides. Additionally, to make the perspective less intensive, I will grab all the 3D rotate and increase the perspective depth to 1200. Now the card looks less skewed when it rotates. Lastly, let's move on to the color selection. First, I will make the opacity of the check purple to zero and add the tap trigger for purple checkbox with the response 
color. I will assign it to the card front background and use the color picker to select the purple. I will duplicate this and also apply it to card back background. Now the color of the card changes to purple when I tap the checkbox. Also, I will add the opacity for check purple to 100% and add the opacity for check blue to 0. Again, to change back to blue check, I will simply copy this and assign the blue checkbox for tap and both colors to blue and swap the opacity with blue check and purple check. Now, we can freely rotate the card and change the colors. I hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to press like, subscribe and hit the bell to get notification for upcoming videos. See you soon!